Himalayan life's mandate is to protect, nurture and educate children in the Himalayas. I'm thinking here of street kids, I'm thinking of migrant worker kids. These are kids who really need a level of protection, nurturing and education that their families or their communities cannot give them, cannot afford for them. That's where we come in. When I'm saying protect children, I'm first and foremost thinking of street children, five-year-olds, seven-year-olds, also teenagers who live in the streets, who fend for themselves, who have to be responsible for their food, for their clothing, for where they sleep, for what they do all day long. And then there's unfortunately the drugs, glue sniffing, alcohol, it leaves a mark on their emotional, psychological, on their physical well-being and that's where Himalayan life comes in. We offer them a place not just to come and eat but a place where they feel safe, where they've been looked after, where they have a respite from the street life, where they can just be out of that usual way of life even if it's for a short time and when they choose they can stay permanently with us. That's where nurturing comes into the picture. Three children who want to make that step away from the street, they can move in one of our street to school homes. Then we can really look after them more in a context like a real family would, with home parents who are really onto the well-being of those children, who know each of them individually by name, what their needs are, what their hopes, their anxieties, their fears are. Each and every one of the street kids has to deal with severe trauma, so we care for them. We nurture them back from not life to life. Education, I think, speaks for itself. It is with great joy that I think of our school in the Yangi Valley, in a place that was completely destroyed by the 2015 earthquake. Not one house left standing, no schools left. And now in this valley, as little as a few years after this catastrophe, we have a thriving school with over 200 students, a school for which we have set as its goal to be a model school, a beacon of light in the educational system in Nepal where we want to demonstrate what it would look like if teachers are excited about their work and if students really can discover the joy of learning. And then of course this education for the families. We put quite a bit of emphasis on adult literacy, particularly moms or women and so we see transformation in the entire family hygiene the way the family works that movement from not life to life not just for the kids but for the entire family